This is our Nova 63 Thunder Laser. We've had it for about four months now, and we've both put it through the paces, and this is our... Official review video, now that we know what we think about it. But, before we dive into any of that, here's some of the specific specs. We have it on the phone. Other have it on the phone. <laughs> it's at 130 watt CO2 laser cutter. The working area is 63 inches by 39.4 inches, and it can engrave items as that are as thick as 9.1 inches. And then the total machine size, the amount of space it takes up in the shop, is 86.6 by 59.3 by 40.9. Any other like key specs here? I think that's, that's the it. basics. All right, let's go. Let's go. We're hopping back in time to the day this showed up over the winter, and the machine's large enough that you need a garage bay to get it into your space. And realistically, you're gonna need some support equipment to get it off the truck and to your space. We had a tractor for the day, and then the two of us, plus help from a friend, and also the guy with the shipping company helped and was great. We cleared the whole day. We knew that delivery was happening just because we weren't sure what to expect, but it took about half a day of hard work between getting it off the truck and making our first cut. We were able to use the grate to make a ramp to slide it off. I'm not saying this is the right way to do it because it was a little wonky, but it did work. And it's how we did it. And then it was in the shop. Setup was really quite simple. Um, it was leveled already and it remained leveled between getting it off the crate, getting in the shop. Um, and basically you just have to plug in four plugs and go. You do need 20 amp electrical though. Um, so just something to have handled ahead of time. We had a really easy time following the written instructions, getting everything plugged in and going. But something that Thunder includes with every one of its lasers is a one hour, one on one call with Thunder themselves to walk you through it and make sure you're really comfortable using your new machine. I think this is a really nice perk, especially for such a large purchase. So now let's go over some of the specific features that make the Nova 63, the Nova 63. So first things first, it's this enormous bed size uh, working area. We've worked on, I mean, most corners of this and haven't had a single issue making sure the Z height was consistent at all four extreme corners. Something else that I really have appreciated about this machine is that it lights up when it's working, which is particularly useful with such a large bed size because you're not, there's no like dark corners you're peering into if you're monitoring the job you're doing. It has an autofocus feature that I haven't had an issue with, but I don't know, it might be, you might love it or you might hate it, so we'll talk about it, but basically you slide your piece in and then there's a sensor on the east and west sides of the laser bed. It's towards the back on this one that send a signal to each other and then adjust to the height of the material. Um, I'm tall, Michael's tall, so for us it's not really a pain to reach to that spot, but I could see that being just a factor to consider. That being said, there are other autofocus heads and things like that that you can modify your machine with and make it your own. We operate hours off of Lightburn, which is kind of the standard software we use in our makerspace, so it works out really great. Um, I'm sure you could use whatever you like, though. Also, I really love this light feature it has. So it's green when the machine's off and like safe to open, and then it flips to red when the machine is running. It just makes it a lot easier to be safe with the machine because it's such an obvious visual cue. So I sent my smiley face design over to the machine and now I'm gonna cut it on an eighth inch thick material as a demo. Looks good. Um, all right, now I'm gonna do the same thing on a quarter inch thick walnut. Oh, also the water chiller and exhaust are automatic when you run a cut. So you can't like forget to turn something on or get frustrated if something's not operating right, you know what I mean? I'm not speeding this up or anything, just so you can get a real sense for what it really looks like running. And I did change my settings though to get through the thicker material. So um, I believe this was 50 speed and 80 power and boop, it got right through it nicely. Oh, also this reminds me of something. I usually do my laser settings by feel. Um, however, if that's not your preferred method, there was a really helpful manual that Thunder provided with it with 
tons of laser settings that they pre-figured out for you so you can reference it. And it was a lengthy list of materials as well. All right, I'm going in now with three quarter inch thick plywood. Plywood, my experience anyway, is one of the most aggravating materials to laser cut just because it's not as consistent in density. Plus you have adhesives and things like that between the layers that just sometimes make for aggravating laser cuts. But I'm gonna show you how the Thunder Nova 63 handles this material. This is one pass. My speed setting is a five and I'm uh, doing a hundred power. I didn't sound so sure about that. That is in fact the settings I used. <laughs> and once again, I'm not speeding this up just so that you can get a real sense for the machine working. Okay, cool. Now I sped it up. Come on. And you don't really get a cleaner cut than that. So that is the Nova 63. Thunder laser. <laughs> Obviously it's a bigger laser than I think a lot of people are in the market for, but that being said, if you are in the market for a big machine like this, I don't think you're gonna regret going with this. I enjoy it quite a bit. I really like it too. We've both worked on it together and independently at this point on a few separate occasions and I really like it. All right, we'll see you at the next build video. Bye.